Hey there, I'm working on a hex based puzzle game I call Hexo and in this video I want to discuss a big change regarding the art and, well, everything. Let me explain. After making the previous videos and showing the game to some friendly guys, I received many great suggestions regarding the game's mechanics and overall feel. One of those was to have some kind of story, something to motivate the player to solve the levels and advance further. Initially I was hesitant, but then I tried to look at my game from the perspective of a player and I admit that they are right. The game feels too abstract with these arrows and arcs. It needs something that makes it look at least a little bit realistic. I need to fix this. So thinking about it, there seem to be at least two things that are often connected in networks in real life, electrical wires and water pipes. Since I am more confident in my knowledge about electricity, and because I think it will look better, I picked that. Ok, so I am now making a game about fixing electrical problems to save the world, or something. But before thinking about the actual story, I now need hexes with electrical cables and other electrical components. So back to drawing, I guess. Once again, we are back in Asiprite. Basically, I try to draw some cables and some central element that kind of hides the connection between them and possibly show some info with an icon or something. The horizontal cable looks perfect, but as you can see, we have a problem with the other ones. They are not going into the central element symmetrically. The reason for this is because the angles of the hex are not equal. It's not a regular hexagon. And the reason for the angles to not all be 120 degrees is because it is pixel art. If I try to make them equal or close to that, then the sides will look jagged. I guess I can make the image bigger, but then I'll have to scale it down in the game and at that point it would no longer be pixel art. So what can I do? What I can do is to try and experiment how it would look if it is not pixel art. As I've already mentioned, art is not my strong side. Add to that that this game would mostly consist of straight lines and I came to the conclusion that I could try creating the graphics as SVGs. After all, in the hands of a programmer, making SVGs would be more like an exercise in geometry than an art. I picked Inkscape for the job and started creating the shapes I needed. And this time the hexagon is regular. This also means that I don't need to draw every element in all possible directions. I can just draw it once and then rotate it in steps of 60 degrees in the game and it would look perfect. This would be a huge time saver. The more shapes I made in Inkscape, the more I got convinced that this is the way the game should be done. It's just a smoother and more productive process. And the result looks really good, at least for me that is. I like pixel art. But apart from that, the real reason I started with it in the beginning is because I thought it would be easier for me to draw. As it turns out though, for this particular game there are problems with pixel art. It just doesn't look ok. Moreover, drawing in Inkscape turned out to be easy for me, actually easier than Asprite. And the end result looks good. I cannot close my eyes for that and as much as I like pixel art I'll have to leave it. Maybe I'll make another game with pixel art someday. But this one will be made with smooth graphics. I hope you liked this video and the new direction of my game. If so, hit the like button and share your comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.